kick your shoes off, close your eyes. I was like you. Hey y'all. Day three. Okay, so I was outside and um, I heard the birds chirping and I got to thinking. Oh, I'm a junk dealer. I am a licensed junk dealer. One of my kids gave me that years ago. If you're out there, Jared, hey, still got it. Anyway, okay, so the birds are chirping and I got to thinking we should, we should like make something that has to do with birds. So today we're gonna make a bird mobile. Ready? What do you think? Okay, oh, he's hung up. Uh-oh, 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 get where you're supposed to be. Uh-oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. There we go. Actually, y'all, I think, I think I had it like this. That's how I had it. Okay, there we go. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Oh, little John Denver. Okay, so first thing you need to do, I'm going to turn this down. So, Obviously, a mobile is something that moves, and literally, you can do anything with a mobile, all right? Or make it out of anything. This one in particular has birds. That one, I did like a weird little tie-dye technique thing. This one, he needs a little tweaking. I just did a design on him. And then I got to think, and, then, and I've got, we could have way more birds than this, but I got to thinking, you know, um... What was I going to say? I don't remember. Oh, I know. I was going to add more in later and show y'all. But anyway, I got to thinking these little twirly gigs would be kind of cute on there. And they're so easy to make. So, okay, let's get this out of the way. So, first thing you need to do is when, you go, when you're outside messing around, um, the stick that you pick up that you don't hit your brother or sister with is the one that you need to bring in. And my stick was a little bit wet, but that don't really matter. And you just kind of look for something interesting. And this time of year, there's sticks all over the yard. So just pick one up and drag it in. If it's wet, we need to let it dry out. Okay, so first thing, and my neighbor Natalie gave me this long thing, this tripod. So I'm going to see if I can figure out how to work it because it's pretty, pretty snazzy. Okay, first thing we need to do. Now, a couple things. Oh, let's go back up here. A couple of things. One is... A lot of these projects that I'm showing y'all, um, they're, they're kind of geared to different age groups. But it's really, I don't really like that because um, some of the drawing might be a little bit harder for the little guys. And some of the stuff you might think, oh, that's stupid, that's for a baby, whatever. Well, you can apply anything in art, you can apply to you. Make it your own. Be creative with it. I'm always telling my kids, do it, make it, make it your own. Do your own thing. Add your own thing to it, you know? Okay, like these... These birds, we'll talk more about that in a minute, but, uh, you know, y'all are into the, the cardinals. Don't be drawing that and trying to sell it, because they are real picky about the, all the copyright stuff. But if you want to hang in your house, ain't nobody going to say nothing. Just saying. Okay. So anyway, Pinterest. Oof. Necessary evil. I know y'all love Pinterest. I'm really not a fan, but sometimes I have to use it. So I did go in there, and I copied this template and what y'all need is a template and that's just a pattern something to draw around i i if you need to draw this out or do you need to copy this and and uh, print it go ahead i'm not a fan because i'm going to show y'all how to draw it. okay so basically there's two parts you get the bird shape and you get the wings okay so first thing you need to do again i just got regular old paint now i will tell you i did cheat a little bit and I was using cardstock on my birds, but you don't have to use cardstock. Cardstock, if you don't know, is just heavier paper. I don't know how much it weighs a pound, whatever. But anyway, it's what cards are made out of. And if y'all don't have it, that's fine. The this this lightweight paper will hold up. You have to let it dry out after you've been using the marker on it. Hey, there's my circles from the other day. Okay, so anyway, first thing we're gonna do is get yourself a piece of construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, use regular paper. Okay, I'd say, let's cut that in half. Cut it in half. 
hamburger. Your parents probably don't know what that means, but y'all do hamburger. And then cut it in half again. And you can make a great big gigantic bird, or you can make small birds. You're gonna get any kind of bird. Okay. Lean down here. Well, I'm gonna show y'all how to draw it. Oh, I hope that don't fall off. Okay, first thing. You just want to make a round. I don't think y'all can see this. Hold on, I'll be right back. Holy cow, how snazzy is this? Okay, so back to ours. Okay, so first thing you want to do is basically start with that circle that I taught you. Can y'all see it? Very lightly, just make a circle. Like that. Bring it around. Don't bring it all the way around. A small diagonal line. Anytime you're drawing, you want to relate that pencil. Take that pencil. Hold that pencil down on that line. Huh, is that line right? Look, bar bar Here, turn a little bit. Bar bar diagonal. Kind of bring it down. Get out of the way. That tape's in the way. Hey, I was going to... Well, I'll show you all in a minute. Okay? Then we're going to bring it down. There's this little chest. Come around his belly. Back up. What did I forget? Oh, beak. There is my bird. All right? And I drew another one so y'all could see it. Can anybody guess what those are for? Those are for the chop chop. Mm -hmm. All right. Because y'all know what dotted line means. That means cut. And then we're going to take and make the wings. Okay. So the easiest way to do this is there's my first piece of paper. And here's my second piece of paper. Just get rid of this one. We don't need any more. And I'm going to fold it in half. And go ahead and keep it folded because y'all are going to fold those wings when we when we get ready to make the bird. Okay, so let's fold this one so y'all can see it's easier. Okay, and I'm going to say that looks like a, a fat mustache. All right, so here we go. We're going to come up, curve up. And there is no rule to this. I'm going to bring it down. And then I'm just going to make half a triangle. Or really a whole triangle right there. And that is my tail. So now we got bird, bird, bird. Tail. Tail. Okay? Simple, simple, simple. So what you're going to do then, take your scissors. I think, I think at this point I'm going to flip back around. Ready? Let's see if I can do that. Hey, by the way, I thought y'all might be uh, tired of looking in the background. So there, there's Dommy. That's a bag she had made for me. That's, according to her, that's her dog Ghost and her judging everyone's life's decisions. Yeah, welcome to my world. Okay, so anyway, now I've got my a uh, little wing and I'm going to cut. Oh, looky there. Look what I'm doing. Elbow in. Hi, Piddle. You want to see Piddle? Come here, Piddle. Come here. Come here, you cat. Okay. Come on. Don't be hateful. Oh, look at what a lovely, sweet animal. Yeah, don't, don't call me. Okay, time for kisses. Say hi. I got to hold her paws or she'll slice my face up. Okay, are you growling? All right, smell you later. Woo! Where was that? The wings. Which, if I, you know, Piddle doesn't bother the birds too much. I guess she's too fat to get up there and jump at them. Boom! Wings! And then I'm gonna cut the bird out. I ain't messing with that because y'all can tell what I'm doing. After you get that bird cut out, look at my magic bird I already have. And my magic wings. Then you are gonna go ahead, cut that slit in there. Now, how deep should you cut it? I don't know, just eyeball it. It ain't no rocket science, okay? All right, now I have my template. So I have my bird and I have my wings, okay? So of course, what you wanna do now is you're gonna lay those down on your regular paper and you're just gonna draw around it. And if you wanna cut a fat hog, like I always cut a fat hog, you can cut more than one at a time. 
Now, when you get ready to cut these wings, you want to take that paper, y'all fold it in half, lay it down just like you're cutting a heart for Valentine's Day. Okay? Once you get them done, then, oh, I'm sweating. This is what they're going to look like. Okay? Now, this is how this works. There's a lot of ways you can put paper together and make a 2D, to two-dimensional plane 3D just by putting things perpendicularly. So this slit is where these wings are going to fly right in there, like that. Okay? And then you want to take a little tiny drop, look at that. You want to take a little tiny drop of Elmer's glue and you want to put it right there in that tail. And we're going to talk about glue right now. There's this thing on glue. Glue. I I did use. I did use. I can't get to it. I used hot glue. Oh my God. Look how. Now you want to talk about some hard road. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. That glue gun could talk. I got a bunch of glue guns. But anyway, that one's smoking hot right now. By the way, don't do not leave those plugged in for a long time. They don't do well. Okay, so anyway, Elmer's glue, real quick. Two kinds of Elmer's glue. There is the school glue, and that's just about all you could buy anymore, Wall. That's all Wally has. Uh, whatever. It's it's okay. It's it's a little watered down. It's not it takes a little longer to dry. This is the bomb right here. This Elmer's glue off, that's what they have when I was a kid. That is you could, you could literally, I've seen people glue two two by fours together with Elmer's glue if you let it sit long enough. And that being said, when I was a kid, we did not have the dead gum glue guns. We didn't have them. And did we not make things? No, we made stuff all the time. As a matter of fact, well, I'm not going to go into that story. But anyway, so you can make anything with Elmer's glue and you it will hold, but you have to have patience. You have to have patience. If you glue two pieces of paper de together, you gotta go. You gotta wait. And everything. Kids are they won't hold. They won't hold. Yeah, yeah, don't know. No. It will hold. It will hold. Y'all just gotta hold it and be patient. Okay? So if you have the glue off, that's the bomb diggity. If you ever see it, grab it, because I don't know. They I don't they don't make it like they used to, but school, school glue, that's what we use. Okay. So now I'm going to take my birds and I'm just going to decorate them however you want, okay? Little dot spots. You can use colored pencil. You can use Sharpie. You can use markers. You can use whatever you got. You can paint them. It don't matter. But once you get them painted or decorated or Sharpied or whatever, you're going to glue them. So they're like this, okay? Now, let's talk about being original. Because I just thought that, okay, this is okay. This bird's all right. But you know what? I could jazz it up a lot and make my own, like, kind of funky bird. So, I drew a little shape like that. And I gave him, like, a little, little spiky hairdo. And then I gave him a curly key right here. But y'all could do anything with this. You can make a bat. You can make a butterfly. You can, like I said, you can make a car. Yeah, so anything you want to make, make it yours, okay? And then I decided that, uh, you know, this guy, this guy needed some funky wings, so I made me some funky wings, okay? All right, so that left me with this little guy. Y'all know who's singing this? Cheeseburger in paradise. Y'all better know Jimmy Buffett. Where was I? Okay, so now. Back to the stick. So what I'm going to do now, I got my birds ready. And I'm and I got a color and I'll deck. And I'll, here's the thing too. Can you ignore one side? No, you cannot ignore any sides because it is 3D now. So you're going to see it from all angles. All right. So, what I did was, I took some yarn. You can use yarn, you can use string, you can use fishing line, whatever you got. 
Again, I got in that box that my neighbor gave me. Thank you, Martha. It ain't made it to school yet. Because <laughs> I ain't made it to school yet. And so then, I just cut me off a length. And then, now, I did have to tweak this a little bit. Because you just got to play around. Where you're gluing it at is going to depend, okay? I just said you don't mess around with stuff. Leave that alone, Piddle. Mm -mm -mm. These cats keep this up from the cats. The cats be loving it. Something to play with. Um, so anyway, just wherever, you know, you got to kind of play with where it's at, okay? So, the, of course, the farther that way up, the more your bird's going to go like this. And then the farther back, the weight's going like this. And it's kind of a good experiment in science. I don't really know the science about it, but it'll just kind of let you uh, see weight distribution, okay? So, take your Elmer's glue or take your hot glue. And if y'all are using hot glue, make sure you ask your parents... And don't be leaving on the floor for your daughter to step on. It's an accident. And so, take your Elmer's glue. And what are you going to do? I'm, I'm just going to show you all right now. I'm going to put a little bit of Elmer's glue on there. 57 French fry potato. All right, here we go. I'm holding it. Here I go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not gonna get it's not gonna hold. Look, it fell apart. No, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh look. Already. Already. It's starting. Now see what happened? Okay, well, I was impatient. That's what happens when you're impatient. So what best thing to do is you just lay it down like this. And let it sit. Here, y'all can see it sitting there. That's it sitting right there. I'm gonna let it sit. Okay. Now, once it gets glued on there. Okay, just to show y'all, just to be quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue it. So I can show y'all. This does not mean that I'm impatient. It just means I don't want y'all having to watch this video for four, 500 hours or whatever. Okay. Oh, look, there we go. I got it in the right spot the first time. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna find a spot that I think looks pleasing, which I think I'm gonna put him in that hole right there. All right. And then what I did was, I just took it around and tied a knot. Okay. And if y'all need somebody to help you hold it, it can make things easier. And then instead of just tying it off and, you know, like being dumped in, I was like, well, you know, I don't know. I kind of like the way this this um, this yarn looks and kind of makes the stick look a little festive. So I just wrapped it. I just wrapped the ends on there like that. Okay, wrap, wrap, wrap. Keep going, keep going. And guess what's gonna happen when I get to the very end? You know it. Mr. Elmer's but Here it comes. Oh, guess who's back? Piddle. Ooh, Emily's gonna, gonna be happy because I showed Piddle on here before I showed her. Okay, and like I said, you can keep tweaking these. Now, y'all can add glitter. You could add them dead gum googly eyes if you want. That's oh, let me show you real quick the the curly gigs. Take a piece of paper, color it. How y'all want to color it? Ooh, that marker's about out. Chuck it. Chuck them mark. Oh no, hang on to them markers. I'm gonna show you something to do with them later on. Don't be throwing them away yet. All right, whatever. You got to color both sides. Now, once you put that marker on the paper, it's wet. Which, wet paper is not strong paper. So, y'all need to let that dry a little bit. 
And super easy if you don't know how to make these twirly gigs. I'm gonna cut a circle. It does not have to be perfect. It could be any, it could be a square, it could be any shape. Just a shape. Color both sides. And then I'm gonna start in. What am I moving? What am I moving? I'm moving the paper. I mean this paper, you don't even have to move very much. Just keep those scissors steady and round and round and round. And round and round and round. Twirl the gig, and you can glue it on the same way. Now, so I got to thinking, and I didn't really have time, but I thought well, it would be really cool to make a great big one. And then I thought it'd be really cool to make some little bitty ones. Uh huh. Oh, wait, got to tweak it a little bit. So, yeah, y'all, I made me some earrings. Can you see that? Uh huh. Same thing. Same exact same thing. I fixed his wings a little bit. And then I just stuck a hole in there with a safety pin. And I jammed in an air wire. Actually, I think if I had made them, I'd make them with a little chain and dangle. And then I just put them on like this. And look at there. I got me a bear. I got my bluebird earring. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So, tomorrow I think we'll go back to drawing a little bit. Uh, I hope y'all, you know, I hope you aren't driving everybody insane at this point. Um, y'all go out there and look for sticks. And, uh, you know, keep the good ones back somewhere. Don't be using the good ones to beat on each other with. And, hey, I'll see you tomorrow.